These hives had internal feeders this winter, and since they are already in place, we'll use them to feed each hive one gallon of Fumadil B treated syrup. The bees will finish the syrup in about one week, and then we'll replace each feeder with a clean frame to give the queen as much laying room as possible. Tracheal mite damage is most apparent in late winter and early spring. A colony will be found dead, and it's obvious the bees didn't starve because there's plenty of honey. There are two miticides registered in the United States for tracheal mite control, menthol and mitocure. Research indicates that spring is the best time for treatment. Remove all supers with marketable honey from the hives. Enclose 50 grams, or 1.8 ounces, of menthol in a 7-inch square porous packet. If daytime highs are 60 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit, place the packet on the top bars above the clustering bees. If highs are 80 degrees or higher, place the packet on the bottom board. Leave menthol in the hive continuously for 10 to 12 weeks, but do not use it during a honey flow. Mitocure plastic strips are another treatment for tracheal mites. In using these, all supers containing marketable honey must first be removed. Three Mitocure strips should then be placed in each hive body. One strip between frames four and five, five and six, and six and seven. Leave strips in the hive for at least six weeks. Control technologies for tracheal mites and varroa mites are changing rapidly, so a word to the wise. See your county extension agent for the latest information in mite control. Congratulations. You have now witnessed a year in the life of an apiary. You saw 10 new bee colonies begin life as mail order packages. You saw them grow to production strength, collect a honey crop, survive a winter, and now gear up for their second spring. As you see, it's a partnership between the bees and their keeper. It's our job to help them do their job. Let's go over the important points of today's show. Here's what you need to do in fall. Make sure each hive has a queen. Give preventive medications. Make sure hives are well fed. Treat for mites as needed. Provide good hive ventilation. Reduce entrances against mice. During winter, keep an eye on food stores and make sure hives are well ventilated. If hives die, shake out dead bees and bring the equipment inside. In spring, we aim for maximum populations in time for the major nectar flows. Here's how we do that. Make sure each hive has a young, prolific queen. Give preventive medications. Make sure hives are well fed. Treat for mites as needed. Prevent swarms and equalize colonies. By now you may feel a bit overwhelmed at all the intricacies of keeping honeybees. But you don't need to know everything before you begin. In fact, you can't know everything before you begin. All of us learn as we go, and the best beekeepers are those that keep on learning new things. But to refresh your memory of everything you've seen, our next and final show is a review session that goes over all the important points one more time. I hope you will join us again in a year in the life of an apiary. <laughs>